outside Clevedon, which is depending on the traffic, what, 45, 50 minutes uh, southeast of Auckland towards the coast, the buffalo needed milking. The Clevedon Buffalo Farm is there, and while the buffalo, whose milk is used for mozzarella, ricotta, and yogurt, were safe from the floodwaters, they were effectively on an island and couldn't be accessed. Meanwhile, the farm's owner, Helen Dorestein, was in a similar predicament at home, up above the water, but completely surrounded by flooding. There's a bridge which never goes under, and it's, you can't even see it. You know, it's, a, it's an incredible amount of water, because the whole, the whole of the Manukau empties out through this t Tereri, I think it's Tereri stream, which runs down through the bottom of our property. And then there's a lot of slips on North Road, so we can't, even if we could get a canoe across it, which we're not gutsy enough to try, I think it would be silly, um, North Road's full of slips, and then in the other direction, Twilight's Road's got slips on it, so you just can't go. And our, our farm manager lives in Kawakawa Bay, and he can't get out to come and milk, so, so we, we, we're thinking about a helicopter right now. Um, we just had one come over us for the neighbour, and, and uh, so we might have to do the same because we've got to milk them, you can't leave them, you know. Right, so they are, how many times a day are you milking them at the moment? Oh, just once, so, so it's been 24 hours. Right, um, so they will be so getting seriously uncomfortable about now, won't they? They will, so we do really have to, to do something, and um, I think it's going to be a chopper. Uh, chopper in the back garden, which will be tremendously exciting. <laughs> and, and so you're going to, so you'll chopper to the buffalo, get the get. If we can get one, yeah, yeah and yeah, milk and, them, and get yeah. milk them, and then chopper the milk out. Uh, no, we'll have to work out how to get the tanker out. We're hoping that the the, the flood will go down enough today before it starts raining again that we can actually drive the tanker truck out. Uh, there's no way yet, but it, it is receding. It has receded since this morning, so. We're hoping um, that yeah. we'll be able to drive the tank more around. Rain, more rain's on the way, we're told. Yeah, I know, but it's 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 receding at the moment. Right. So in between that and more rain, we can either try and get it out our driveway or try and get it out over the neighbour's paddocks. Um, yeah, otherwise we really are in the popper, so to speak. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> nicely put. Yeah. Ella Dorison, who is uh, fairly philosophical about their situation, although they have to get to the buffalo. She's from the Clevedon uh, Buffalo Farm.